All right, everybody, welcome back. One more right tackle video, and like I said, things get really, really thin here at the bottom. And the main reason why is a lot of these guys move inside, and that may not be an exception for this guy. I am going to talk about him as a right tackle for this video, but don't be surprised if our first subject of investigation, Jeremy Flax, ends up a guard at the NFL level. I'm not sure, but that's kind of where I would like him personally. But uh, Kentucky Wildcat, couldn't find his age, six foot five and a half, 343. So he's got, he's got some girth on that frame. He's got junk in the trunk. He's big. So you can't teach big sometimes. I mean, theoretically you could, I guess, right? But nicer when they come out of the box this big, if you're going to look for somebody big. 33 and an eighth inch arms, serviceable, nine inch hands. No, not loving that necessarily. The testing was, he shouldn't have tested. 2%, second percentile, 40. First percentile, 10 yard split. It took him almost two seconds to get 10 yards. God dang. Vert was average. Broad jump was below average. Nothing really good here. Um, CBS had him, but they did not have him getting drafted. The database had him going undrafted. So he's unlikely to get drafted, bottom line. Played okay last year for Kentucky. Year before that, he actually gave up seven sacks and had a PFF grade of almost 50. So, yeah, he did not play good. He was one of the guys protecting Levis. And by protecting Levis, I mean not protecting him because he was not protected that last year at all. Uh, 22 QB pressures in 2022. And he did improve a good amount to 12 in 2023, but still not really clean. So, he's big. I mean... He's got the size on lockdown, don't he? He might be able to flex over to guard, and that's the context through which I would recommend looking through Jeremy Flex in a move to guard. His latch is nice and firm to secure the rep. He uses his hands well. Once he wins the rep, he's not going to let you go. He hits with a pretty good pop. He hits with a lot of force. I mean, that's just physics, right? When you're this big, you're going to hit with force. And he's so wide. Even though his arms aren't super long or anything, he's so wide, it's just hard to get around him. He's just so broad-shouldered. So, I like some stuff, but he can't mirror. He's not going to be able to handle speed rushers. They're just going to run right around him. Uh, not going to be able to keep up with his feet. Not going to be able to shuffle his feet. He's not a good athlete at all. Hand placement is all over the place. Needs to learn that. Needs to learn technique. And maybe he'll just not be able to pick it up at this point. He's been... I think he's an older player. I don't know his exact age, but I do think he's a little bit older. Some players just can't understand these things. And you're fooling yourself if you think he can play in space. There's no way he's going to be able to do any, like, zone, zone blocking or pull blocking or second-level blocking. Like, if you thought it was rough with Damian Lewis trying to pull block, then Flax is going to be a nightmare. Um, I think the size might be the thing that gives him a little bit of work in the NFL. But overall, there are so many issues here, so many problems, that I kind of doubt he even works out as a guard. I'll say 7th round pick, bump him inside and see what's up. But in Seattle, I wouldn't even do that here because he can't move. The dude, he, he stays in the phone booth because, honestly, because he's so big he got stuck in there. He can't even get out of the phone booth. Because he's crammed in there and he, he can't pry himself out. So I'm not interested at any point. I could see seventh round value just because you can bump him inside. But it's, it's tough. It's thin. One more guy. And this guy I wanted to save for last kind of because I didn't mind what I saw with this one. Caden Wallace of Penn State. This one's actually interesting. Way more interesting than I thought he would be when I started looking at him. 24 years old. 6'5", 314 pounds, okay size, 34-inch arms, 10 and 3 quarters inch hands. So he's actually got the NFL size. Testing numbers were good. Ran a nice little 40, accelerated up to top speed quickly. Nice vert, phenomenal broad. 315 pounds, you're almost getting 10 feet down the broad jump lane. Okay, I'm listening. CBS, 5th round, PFF, 6th round, so he does look draftable. The database has him barely clinging on, though. They have him in the late seventh. And his numbers over the last couple years has been good, right? Like, he's allowed two sacks, one hit, and 22 hurries over the last two years. 
for a Penn State team that hasn't really had a quarterback and never seems to actually have a quarterback. Um, PFF grades haven't been very good, but uh, by the way, this is the guy who's playing across from uh, Fashanu, who's going to be a first-rounder in this year's draft. So, <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um, there's um, So there's a decent amount of pressure on him because the other guy is harder to beat. And this guy held up fairly well. I think that he'll be able to wash out at right tackle, but I also think he'll be able to give you some reps at guard. So there's going to be some flexibility. If you want like a versatile backup, Caden Wallace might be the guy you call up. He's a very good athlete. Like the testing numbers don't lie and neither does his tape. He can move. He can play in space. He can keep up laterally. He's proven capable of second level blocks and blocks in space as well on the tape. So he can play in zone. He can be a move right tackle for you if you need it. His understanding of where to place his hands in blocking is also pretty good. He's cerebral in reading pressure packages. He's a guy who instinctively knows how to pick up stunts, pick up twists, pick up blitzes. Uh, when the play isn't happening right in front of him, he knows where to look to find where the play actually is. He's got a firm latch, and fundamentally, in terms of things like balance, keeping your 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 body above your feet, keeping ba uh, your your hands where they need to be, all these things, fundamentally strong. So... I like a lot of things with Caden Wallace, and um, I wasn't really expecting to because you get down to this part of the draft, you expect to be underwhelmed. Now, speed off the edge will give him problems. He doesn't have the ability to shuffle with the true speedsters, but again, it's right tackle. Who cares? You're not playing that many super speedsters. Leverage battles go to the opponent too often. He doesn't get low enough, needs to learn how to sink the hips, get low, get under the pads. And I don't think he'll ever be a great run blocker. I don't think he has the strength for it. I don't think he has the anchor for it. I don't think he has the plant for it. So I don't think he'll ever be a great run blocker, which is uh, unfortunate when you're playing right tackle. But um, at the same time, I don't think he has the uh, lateral quickness to play left. So I think he'll be an adequate right tackle and maybe a little bit of a better guard. But I think he'll be a good football player. I like his frame, good athlete fundamentally sound overall. I don't think he'll ever be anything more than a low-level starter, but there's value in that. He could be a really good backup for you. So, fifth round. I put him in the fifth round here. I think the big boards, at least the aggregate, is sleeping on him a little bit. I think he's a fifth-round guy. So, yeah, liked him more than I thought. Good job, Caden. I uh, like what you're bringing. All right, so that'll do it for right tackles for this year. Let me know what you think. It's a really interesting crew. Very top-heavy. But realistically, that's how we like it, right? We don't want these boring, can't move, can barely shuffle to stay in front of a guy right tackles. We want the awesome right tackles who are just going to crush people and can peel down to the second and third level and knock the crap out of a linebacker. And we got some of that. All right, so tomorrow we're going to move on to another position. I think it's going to be running back, actually. And I don't mind giving that away because it's pretty obvious because of the uh, upcoming Hawks Nest show. But uh, yeah, we're doing running backs for the next few days, actually. It's going to take a while because there are a lot of running backs that we got to get through. All right, go Hawks. Thanks for watching. Um, if I'm not on Twitch already, I'll be on Twitch later. Probably been on Twitch all day, to be perfectly honest. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.